Hello and welcome to monitor network performance using IO graphs. Now in this video we are going to take a look at couple of points. We are going to learn about the basics of IO graphs and I'm going to explain you the working of these graphs. So what you can do here you can again reopen your Wireshark or restart your Wireshark and capture some packets inside it. Then we will talk about IO graphs. So guys I'm inside Windows 10 and I've started my Wireshark here. So this is Wireshark. You can close and reopen it after the first practical. All right. Now in the browser we have websites open here. So we just need to grab some packets inside Wireshark. Now let me click on Wireshark. Select the interface. I'm working on my wireless. And let me simply refresh some websites in my browser so it can grab packets. So here we have the packets here. Now the packets are enough. We can simply click on stop and here we are. Got it? So these are the packets available here and we have stopped capturing inside Wireshark. So you can see here that we have captured almost 950 packets inside it from our network. So what is IOGRAPH? Now IOGRAPH is a simple graph, XY graph, which provides information about packets that how many packets have come inside your network and at what time. So if you want to open IOGRAPH inside Wireshark, what you can do here, you can simply click on statistics, then you can click on IOGRAPH and here we have the IOGRAPH. So this is IOGRAPH, right? And this is x, y. In the x, you can see time in seconds. In y, you can see packets per second. Got it? So you can see here that at this point, packets were 125 and the time was, I think, around 3 seconds. And in the below, you can see that this is information about the graph, display filter color, style, y-axis and SME period all right. So in the graph name you can see here that all packets, TCP errors, delta time graph and you can see here that the color is also available with the display filter. Now what if I want to include TCP errors? So you can select it and here you can see that it is showing you the TCP errors in the blue color. So these are the TCP errors. If you want to check delta time graph, you can select here and you can see here that this is delta time graph. All right, the difference between two packets, the time interval. This is delta time graph. Now you can simply remove that and here we have all graphs. So this is basically, you can see the graph about all packets, all kind of packets. All right, doesn't matter if it is TCP error or we are checking about delta time graph or any kind of error. This is overall graph. Of your network the packets we have captured around 950 packets so this graph is all about 950 packets now I don't want all packets I just want the TCP errors because I want to troubleshoot my network so I want to get information about errors so now you can simply disable all packets and you can simply select TCP errors and here it is so you can see here that this is all about the errors right so we don't care about all the packets. We are caring only about the errors because we are troubleshooting our network. So you can see here, simply enable TCP error and you can see the color is blue and this information is about TCP errors. So this is the peak. So you can see here at the six second, the maximum number of packets were there about errors, right? And you can see around 0, 1, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, there were no packets, right? So that's how you can analyze your network. At what time I was getting TCP errors in my network. All right. Now you can see in the interval here. So interval is here one second, hundred millisecond. By default, it is one second. You can also change the graph in ten seconds. So this is ten second graph. You can also change it to hundred millisecond. So this is hundred millisecond graph. So that's how you can change the interval here, right? You can also drag or zoom here, right? Or you can also reset it. So that's how you can analyze your network performance using Wireshark IO graphs. In the next video, we are going to learn about the baseline traffic and how to tackle network anomalies.